It's time once again for the CDW Rivalry of the Week. My name is Greg Amsinger, coming to you from the Fieldhouse in New York City with Trev Alberts and Brian Jones. And we have a big one in Kansas City, boys. Oh. It's Missouri mm -hmm. against Kansas. Who thought this rivalry game, it's good no matter what the records are every single year, would be so important in Week 13. But here they are, both top five teams, both with BCS title implications on the line. It's unbelievable. Who do you like in this one? I'm really thinking the Tigers are going to get it done. With you like the Tigers? I think Missouri has it going He's on. He's trying to influence your pick. Well, he, I don't need him to influence my pick, Mr. Trev Albers. My pick is Missouri because they're going to have too much offense I, I for this them. very good Kansas defense. And I reiterate, <sighs> they're an excellent defense there at Kansas. But you got too many weapons. You got Macklin, Tempo at running back, Chase Down. You know what that young man has done all season long. They just got too many weapons, the tight ends, right. Rucker and Kaufman. They're How are you going to cover all those guys, Trev? That's what I want to know. Tony I want you Temple. to put your little finger up like you always do Three and tell things. me how the hell you're going to cover all those weapons. Nah. Well, I'll tell you what it is. I'm an independent thinker. I don't. And just, what are you saying? I'm not. Well, yeah, because he told you to pick he didn't Missouri. tell so me a pick, damn thing. I pick two. who I want to pick. Look, Kansas is going to win the game for the following reason. Everybody understands. They've seen Missouri on the national stage. Everybody talks about Kansas and assumes they're that nice little team. They've got good chemistry, they're well coached, and they don't beat themselves. That's all true. Tied with Army for the fewest penalties in the nation, plus 23 in turnover margin. Here's the bottom line, though. Todd Reesing's been outstanding, 2,900 <laughs> yards passing, 30 touchdowns, four interceptions. He hasn't thrown an interception in over a month. Yes. Here's the thing you miss. Kansas is much more balanced on offense, and the reason they're going to win the game is because they're more physical than Missouri. This is a perfectly balanced offense. Brandon McAnderson at running back. Has there been anybody in college football that's rushed for 1,000 yards that's gotten less attention than McAnderson? The guy's got 15 touchdowns. He averages 6.3 yards a carry. That. I'll that's give you the that. difference. I'll Your give team's one-dimensional. Mine's two. One Tony Temple, 100 yards a game. Chase That's Daniel runs the football. Wait, wait, wait. Well. Tony, I don't need your help. Shut up. Tony oh. Temple, 100 <laughs> yards a game. I got this, homie. He's a lightweight. You're telling me that's not a balanced offense? Chase Daniels throwing for well over 300 yards a game. That's balanced. You got three receivers you go to. And defensively, I'll give you that. McAnderson, a bruising running back. But Missouri, coming into this season, they wanted to improve their defensive line. They wanted to improve their interior. They wanted to get more physical. They've done it. They've gone from 58 ranked in rushing defense to about 28. That's an improvement in my book. Now, will they have a tough time stopping McAnderson? Sure, but they got more than enough offense CBJ, to play against Kansas. Now, that's independent thinking. You didn't need Greg. You did you it all by yourself. I, do we need Greg at all? You want to say goodbye? Go ahead. Bye-bye. That's your CDW Rivalry Week. He see, they do need me. Ah! That's your CDW Rivalry of the Week. We'll see you next time from the Fieldhouse in New York.